Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to find all continuous functions f mapping positive real numbers into real numbers such that fxy equals to fx times fy for any positive real numbers x and y. As the beginning, if we try to put x equals y equals 1 into the equations on the problem, so we have f1 equals f1 times f1. By factoring these equations, we have f1 equals 0 or f1 equals 1. In case f1 equals 0, we have fx equals f of x times 1 equals fx times f1 equals fx times 0 equal to 0. This is true for any positive real number x. And it's easy to check that fx equals 0 for any positive real number x is a solution of the problem. In case f1 equals 1, we have 1 equals to f of x times 1 over x equals fx times f1 over x, which give us f1 over x equals 1 over fx for any positive real number x. Let's keep in mind this result, and now we are going to see the pattern of f of x to the power of n for any natural number n. By the functional equations on the problem, we have fx to the power of 2 equals fx to the power of 2. fx to the power of 3 equals fx to the power of 3. fx to the power of 4 equals fx to the power of 4. And so forth, we have f of x to the power of n equals fx to the power of n. And this is true for any natural number n. But by the equations inside this white box, we have these results is also true for non-positive integer. So we have f of x to the power of n equals fx to the power of n for any integer n. On the other hand, if we replace n with m, we have fx equal to fx to the power of m to the power of 1 over m. Again, by replacing x with x to the power of 1 over m, we have f of x to the power of 1 over m equals to fx to the power of 1 over m. And this is true for any natural number m. So we have f of x to the power of n over m equal to fx to the power of n over m for any integer n and for any natural number m. These results can be simply written in the form of fx to the power of r equal to fx to the power of r for any rational number r. Next, we are going to prove that this result is also true for any irrational number. Suppose that S is any irrational number. By the completeness property of R, there is a sequence of rational numbers Rn such that Rn converges to S. Since any functions in the form of g u equals c to the power of u is continuous on real numbers whenever c is a positive constant, so we have limit of x to the power of rn equals to x to the power of s for any real positive number x. Since f is also continuous, so we have fx to the power of s equals to limit of fx to the power of rn. Since rn is rational number, so by the property inside this blue box, we have limit of fx to the power of rn. Again, since any functions in the form of g u equals c to the power of u is continuous on real numbers, so we have this limits equals to fx to the power of limit of rn, which is fx to the power of s. So we have this results is also true for any real numbers. Finally, we are going to do our final step. We should notice that fx equals to f of e to the power of ln x. By the property inside this blue box, we have 
Fe to the power of ln x, which is equal to E to the power of ln Fe to the power of ln x. Interchange the powers, we have E to the power of ln x to the power of ln Fe, which is x to the power of A, which A is real constant. And obviously, for any real numbers A, fx equal to x to the power of a is satisfying the functional equations on the problem. So, all the solutions are fx equals 0 and fx equals x to the power of a, which a is any real number. And there we are done.